give the problem definition, then I will compare the existing solutions with our solution. Finally, I will give the experiment and the conclusion. Mm -hmm. The first, the road network is uh, um, directed and weighted and uh, no degree graph. And in the graph theory, the road network is a graph and for each edge E, uh, it should be uh, associated by a weight. And the path in the graph is a sequence of nodes which is connected by edges. And here is the example of the graph. The short distance query, it means that uh, we should to find the, the weight of the uh, shortest path. In this example, if you want to have a query about vertex V19 and V12, and we can find many um, paths, and the red one and the green one are two of them. The red path, the cost of the red path is only 11. It is actually the shortest path. Uh, our, our target to uh, do the shortest distance query is to get the value 11. And there are many applications just, uh, just as GPS, uh, navigation, POI, recommendation, and route planning service. And then I will give the existing solution. There are two main kinds of uh, solution of the shortest distance query. Uh, the first is the hierarchy-based solution and the hope-based solution. The start of the art algorithm, uh, there are four kinds of algorithm. The contract hierarchy, arterial hierarchy, hope-based labeling, and the pruning highway labeling. And and today I will focus on the contract hierarchy and the pruning, uh, pruning labeling. The contract hierarchy, uh, it means we should associate each vertex uh, with the rank. In the query processing, you can only search from the low, low rank to high rank. And to guarantee the result is the uh, shortest path. Contract hierarchy adds some shortcut on the original graph. And here is an example the, in the query processing of vertex V12, V19 in the contraction hierarchy. Uh, and actually, we will find that the search space is still very large when the query distance is long in the contraction hierarchy. And the other uh, solution is hope-based solution. Uh, in hope-based solution, we give each vertex a, a label which is contained the distance and in the query processing, we will select two uh, labels and join them to find the common vertex. Here is an example uh, about the uh, uh, V12 and V19. We find the two labels of uh, them. And then we find the common vertex, which is V14. And we can just uh, add the value and get the result. Uh, but we can find that in the hierarchy based solution, the search space is too large uh, in the long distance query. And in the whole based solution, uh, some parts of the label is unnecessary, uh, especially in the short query. And next, I will give our solution. Our solution is to assign a two hop index for the tree decomposition. It means at first we have an original graph, we transfer it to a tree. And here we use the technique tree decomposition. And then we build the two hop index on the tree decomposition. Uh, tree decomposition is an existing solution which is always used uh, for the NP hard problem in the graph. But it can also use in the shortest path. Uh, the tree decomposition can transfer a graph to a tree. And how to um, calculate the distance in the tree decomposition, it means um, we, for each vertex, we save the distance from uh, each vertex to, uh, to the ancestor of, uh, in the tree decomposition. For example, the vertex V12, which is the red node. And we save all the distance from V12 to all the ancestor of, of it, and, uh, which is the blue node here. And th here is the other example of the V3. Uh, when we get to, uh, when we uh, got, uh, calculate the, uh, the distance level in the tree decomposition, in the query processing, uh, what we do is to find the lowest common, uh, common ancestor in the tree decomposition. And then we uh, calculate all the distance in the vertex of the LCA node. 
and here is the um, example. And we just need to con uh, add these two, uh, the distance be between in the vertex of the uh, lowest common vertex, like, um, like these four vertex. And then we can select the minimal value of the four result, candidate result and get the result. And next I will give what we do uh, in the hierarchical hope index. Uh, the, uh, the part before is uh, the basic idea how to calculate in the tree decomposition. Uh, in the H to H index, we should uh, create two labels. The first label is the distance. It pre presents all the distance uh, like the two hopes. And the second label is the position array. It helps us to locate which is the common vertex. If we have an H to H index, uh, we just need to, uh, to choose the distance label uh, in the tree decomposition and, uh, and choose the position array in the LCA of the two query vertex. Uh, if we have a query example V12 and V3, and we calculate the LCA V6, we will uh, uh, to do the query processing in the following step. At first, we select the first value in the position, which is one. And then we can locate uh, two value in the distance, uh, in the distance in the first one. And add them together. We get a candidate result. And then we choose the second uh, value of the position, which is a three. We uh, we access the third, the third value in the distance, and then we add them together. We do the same thing for the three and the fourth value in the position. The minimal value of the sum is the is seven, which is the shortest distance of what we want. Uh, here is the query processing part, and then I will give the uh, H, how to construct our H to H index. The, uh, at first, we, sh we should transfer the original graph to a uh, tree decomposition. The where is a really important operation is to do the distance preserve vertex animation. In this animation, when we delete a uh, vertex, the remain graph will have the same distance uh, between in the uh, distance in the as the as the same as the graph before. How to do that? When we delete V1, we should add all the label of the V1, uh, such as the label V2 and V3, and add another edge V2 and V4. And we also need to update the, uh, the edge in the label. And then we delete V1. If we do this operation, we will find that the, the remain graph and the former graph will have the same uh, distance um, between the vertex V2, V3, and V4. Um, if we want to construct our distance preserved tree decomposition, we should animate the vertex by an order. So how to calculate the order? Uh, it is introduced in the tree decomposition paper. And if we have a order, we just delete it, uh, just delete it. And at first, we, when we delete V12, and we add a node with uh, with 12 and its neighbors. But we also need to save the neighbor, uh, the age of the V12. And we create a node, save it in the tree decomposition. And then we do the same thing for the vertex V9. Then we continue our uh, algorithm V10, V11, V7, V8. When we delete all the vertex, we can get our tree decomposition. Uh, and next part is how to uh, construct our H to H index uh, by the distance preserved tree decomposition. What we do is to uh, complete the label um, by the preorder travel in the tree decomposition. Uh, I will show it in an example. At first, we initial the root of the tree decomposition uh, as the distance which is zero. And then we do the pre-order traversal. 
forward tags V3, uh, we should find the distance between V3 to its ancestor. Uh, actually, V3 to V14 uh, is existing in the tree decomposition, so we just get it from the tree. And then when we cal uh, calculate the tags uh, V18, we should um, par partition this distance to two parts. The first is uh, V18 to its neighbor. Uh, here we select V13 as an immediate result of a tax. And then the second part is V13 to other ancestor of V18. Uh, this distance we actually calculate in the existing index before. So we transfer our immediate result immediate vertex uh, as the other label of V18. And here, uh, and then we, uh, construct, uh, and then we continue our pre-order traversal, uh, which is the vertex V6. We choose V18 as the immediate, re immediate vertex. And we choose V14 as the immediate vertex. By this way, we can con construct our H2H -H index. And next, I will give the experiment. Our experiment is studied on eight uh, data sets in the real world. The largest one is the US, which have 2.24 uh, million vertex. And we compare our algorithm with uh, some state-of-the-art algorithm, contract hierarchy, uh, a career hierarchy, and two hope-based labeling. And our algorithm is H2H. -H. And the first experiment is to uh, compare the efficiency of varying the query distance. The query Q1, Q2, Q10 means that the query distance is from short to long. And we will find that the uh, two hope algorithm, which is HVL and PHVL, the time, com com time cost is stable. And the hierarchy algorithm and our H2H uh, is increasing by the distance uh, grow up. But for the, for the largest uh, distance query, our H2H -H algorithm won't, um, won't worse than the uh, two hope labeling. And the other experiment is uh, the time cost varying the data set size. Uh, we use the same uh, distance query and varying the uh, data set size. And we will find that when the data set increasing, the hierarchy based algorithm and our H2H -H index, uh, the time cost is stable. And uh, because of the data set increasing, the labeling will be grow up uh, for the two hop algorithm, so the time cost is increasing. And here is the index construction time. Uh, for the largest graph, USA, it costs about 100 minutes uh, for our H2H algorithm. And finally is the conclusion. Uh, we study the drawback of uh, two kinds of existing solutions, the hierarchy and the hope based and we give, uh, give the query processing using the H2H -H index. And then it's the, uh, we give the contra construction algorithm for the H2H. -H. Thank you. Uh, well, I think you propose a small and effective index for a whole network, but why does it work well with whole network? while them a complex network like a social network. Uh, could you give us some reason why, I mean, uh, there were tons of uh, similar indexes, but why it works well? Uh, you mean why we don't use this over the, on the social network? Uh, no, I, I mean, not, 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 not just the reason for, uh, uh, for social network uh, and or, or the world network. I mean, what's the, um, why the, the design of your index works well uh, with just uh, this whole network. I mean the inside, is there any insight? Um, Why does it work well? Why does it work well? Why does it work? Um, because in the 
uh, road network, uh, we use a tree decomposition. The, that is the important, uh, important definition is tree width. Uh, tree width for the road network is really small, and for the social network is really big. There is a paper in the KDD to show that for the social network, the tree width will be really large in the social network. But in the road network, it's about um, the tree width is the, our um, our bound in the query processing. And the tree width is small, so we can do it efficient. Okay, thank you. You mean how to? Like you have to reconstruct or on the multiplication you have to reconstruct it? Uh, no. You mean the, how to do? Exactly, okay. Uh, what we, how we build our index is, um, in the index we should calculate the distance label and the distance label is the vertex, and between the vertex and its ancestor. And we divide the distance to two parts. The first part is the vertex to its neighbor, which is existing in the uh, tree decomposition, vertex and uh, its neighbor. And the second part is the neighbor to the other vertex. Um, but the neighbor to the other vertex is actually existing in the index we calculated before. It means when we calculate the read of a text, uh, it's, it's sometimes it's small, and uh, which is V18, and this one is V13. And 13 to V14 is calc uh, it's calculated before the, uh, in the index, it's V13 to V14, we calculated before. So we just divide the distance to two parts and add them together, we are get our distance label. 